Hi all, cool to review this year, and today we're going to be reviewing, oh, well, not reviewing, but doing the top 5 animal Funko Pops, because I have a lot of animal Funko Pops. Before we, got it, we get into the list, there are a couple of requirements, <laughs> well, mainly one. All animals have to be real, so they can exist from... Even if they're extinct now, but, or the character doesn't look exactly like the animal, as long as it's based on an animal that at one point existed or still exists, it's fair game. So, at the beginning of the list is Pluto, who isn't exactly very detailed, but is just adorable and simplistic. Yes, but in a good way. If there was any Funko Pop to be simplistic on, it would be Pluto. Um, I kind of wish that these like little ridges above his eyes were sculpted. His mouth is sculpted very cool. I like his body. I like the way his ear is lifted up. I like everything about this Funko Pop. Hence why it claims the number 5 spot. And... I don't know, it's automatically recognizable as Pluto, and he's very colorful. So, yeah, that's why he's number five. So let's go into number four. Come on, Pluto! Pluto! Leave! Time to go to number four! Thank you! For the number four, Four spot on the top five animal funk pumps. We've got Hemlock, 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 Hemlock. I think it's Hemlock from uh, A Bug's Life. Now, why this guy made it on was because of how cute he is. Like, look at that face, adorable, and how. I love how they made this normally fat character into a Funko Pop and still kept him fat. They made his body smaller than, well, relatively smaller than his head, comparatively. And they did it well, and it looks very, very good. I like how shiny his eyes are. I love the colors on this guy. He's so colorful. I don't love him in the... Bugs Life movie, but this Funko Pop I can get behind. He's really great. He's super cute. I really like him. I really like the way that the green fades into this color. I don't know what you call this, but yeah. And I just love how pudgy he is. He's so funny. And he just she he comes across as being a big fat. Caterpillar, but also he's a Funko Pop, and yeah, it's very well done. I like his little blushes, his hands, his feet, everything about this one. Look at this guy, it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty ow, don't worry about it. It's pretty good. The paint job isn't that great, but I really like his coloring, hence why he was at number four. On to number five. Oh, yeah! For the, uh, number three. Yes, number three spot. We have Deadpool the Duck. The Walgreens exclusive. Um, in case you're wondering. I have banned my, if you haven't seen one of my other videos. Uh, I forgot which one. But I have banned myself from using Howard the Duck in Mech. As on the Funko Pop list. Because it gets kind of boring seeing number one always be the same Funko Pop. So I'm switching it up, and instead of having him being number one, I implemented Deadpool the Duck, who is hard to duck, but don't worry about it. This Funko Pop is pretty, pretty rad. I don't have any normal Deadpools, this is the only Deadpool I have, but I'm really glad I have him. I love how brightly co colored he is. I love his duck bill. Looks great. 
um, the way that he has an expression because of the way his little, like, dark spot around his eyes are done. The seams look good. This little bag on the back looks good. His tail poking out looks good. All the gear on his body looks really good. Um, it's pretty well painted. There are tiny paint flaws on him, but it's barely noticeable. But of course, Walgreen, uh, Walgreens has one of the worst is one of the worst at keeping Funko Pops in good condition. And so I got this as a gift, and he bought it off their website. So as such, the box was in terrible condition, because Walgreens is by far, in my opinion, the worst as far as boxes go. But that doesn't really matter. This Funko Pop himself just expresses personality, interesting colors. I'm always a sucker for partly metallic paint, and it has a lot of it on here. And on these little buttons, on the swords, and whatever silver things he's got on his body. It looks really sick. And, yeah, he, that's why he's at number five. I'm at number three, not number five. Um, he's pretty cool. He's very cool, but, you know, that, that, that that's how it is. <laughs> um, I don't know what else to say about him. He's cool, but I think he's the perfect spot for number three on the top five animal Funko Pops. So, let's... Ooh. On. For the number four, <coughs> sorry, for the number four spot, we've got the T Rex from Jurassic Park line. Now, I choose the T Rex because of its detailing, its interesting sculpt. And the way they sh they colored it, like the way it fades in from this light brown into this dark brown here and there and there, or this nice normal brown, like neutral brown. You've got all these um, scales, which look very very nice, like real dinosaur scales all over him. And then you got these like wrinkles on his back going all the way down to his well these ridges going all the way down to his tail. Um you got these little feet. Um I love the the details on his neck, all these like veins and stuff. It makes it look like a real you know, a dinosaur. Which is what it should look like. It makes this look like skin. Which is really cool. I like how shiny his his uh, claws are, both his little ones there and his big feet claws. And so, and I love the way they did his eyes. Instead of having them, he gets a good. Well, what I'm trying to say is that he has a good side profile shot where you see his eyeball, and he's got all this cool stuff like a real T-Rex. But when you face him like that, he also looks good because the eyes are like tilted in, which is very good on Funko. That way you can display it like a normal Funko Pop. Now, mine is kind of collapsing under its own weight, even with the stand. So, that's not great. If you look at him, he's basically falling over, so you need to lean him against a wall. But besides that, he's pretty great. He's pretty awesome, and I'm really happy to have him in my collection. Alright, on to number one. Before we get to number one, we have some honorable mentions. So, yeah, let's get to the honorable mentions. For the number four spot, I mean, not number four, the honorable mentions, we've got a few honorable mentions. Are you doing okay, buddy? All right, good. We've got a couple of honorable mentions. We've got, first off, Hank the Octopus from Finding Dory. Hank is a very good Funko Pop because he just is. He's got a lot of personality, I know. Thank you. A lot of detail. He's, oh, he's pretty colorful. He's got some tentacles, so he's accurate, really. Alright, it's fine. Don't worry about Koji. He's, I don't know. He, 
Don't worry about my cat. He's having a little, little bit of trouble. Right, buddy? Yeah. Anyway, he's got um seven tentacles to make him more accurate to the movie. He's got all of these suction cups because he's, you know, a octopus and they have suction cups and I just love how they individually sculpted all of these suction cups. He's got this pot that looks like it's actually has water in it, which is a very nice detail. Uh, I like the bags under his eyes, I like his weird thing it looks. I don't know how to describe this, but this looks floppy, or like it would be soft, but it's not because it's a piece of plastic, which is very cool. We've got Rafiki. This is in no real order, by the way. Rafiki. I really like Rafiki. He has tons of nice details and a very clean paint job, but there's just something about this guy I don't like. I can't. I don't know. Maybe it's he's creepy with that giant smile and his eyes, or I don't know. There's just something about him I don't like that much. But he's he's overall a pretty good fit Funko Pop. He's just a little bit on the creepy side. Yeah, a little creepy, but in the bad way because he's not supposed to be creepy. Then we've got Mickey and Minnie from the two pack. I I really like. These Funko Pops, they don't look very, they look okay on their own, but together, they are great. And they're in, like, action poses, but not really. But you can, like, set them up next to each other, and they work very good. And they're very cute, and I love their colors, and their paint jobs are alright. But really, for exclusives, their paint jobs are pretty good. And I just really like them. They're very cute. Yeah. And when I saw the, uh, what's it called? The Kingdom Hearts one, I wanted a normal one because I don't play Kingdom Hearts. I was hoping they'd make a normal Mickey with the new head sculpt and stuff, and they did, and that makes me happy because I like Mickey Mouse. And so, yeah, on to the number one spot. To anyone who's seen my videos recently, it should come as no surprise that the number one animal Funko Pop is. Orville, the Funko Pop ride of Orville from Disney Treasures. I love just about everything about this Funko Pop. From the different colors, from the nose, from the glasses, from his shiny eyes, from the the mice on the back, from the tuna can from the sardine can and all the little details on their bags and the matches to his big fluffy tail. To the way his legs are done to make it look like he's like, you know, being a burden. I love how huge his wings are and how big they go because he is one of the largest birds. So it makes sense that he has very large wings. I forget what that's called, but he is. He's a very large bird. Though. Somebody in the comments will correct me. Please. I like how shiny his beak is. I just love this Funko Pop, and if there and if there was anything that represented animals very well, it would be this. Oh, it's so good, so so good. I love the flow and it, he, the stand is surprisingly nice. Doesn't really do much because it's clear, so it's wonderful. I love this Funko Pop ride. Now, I know I haven't been posting, that's because I've been on, like, a small vacation, but I'm back, I guess, and I'll get back to posting. The one thing I did learn on vacation, because I witnessed it, is that a creepy thing is, um, chipmunks actually eat mice. So, that's a little terrifying. I saw a chipmunk kill a mouse and carry it deep underneath some wood. And it was very disturbing. So, not these guys aren't even safe from chipmunks. So, yeah, mice mice do not are not very happy. But that's besides the point. What is the side? What is the point? Is that you should subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Do 
all sorts of things because you're cool. Subscribe, like, uh, do whatever you're gonna do. Uh, comment down below what Funko Pop you'd like to see reviewed. I have so many I could review now. So you just be like, hey, you should review that one. Oh, that one. Or that one. Or that one over there. Or whatever. So, yeah, go do your things with your fingers, so that way I get, um, more views on my videos, because I like views, and who doesn't like views? And yeah, bye.